Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about how to check the health of your hard drive. Yay! So let's start by first turning on the actual computer. <laughs> turning on... So what we're going to do is we're going to hit F12 to load our boot menu. Well, or at least with this particular model, others you might need to hit um, escape. So it says loading boot menu at the bottom, and if you look it says F2 for setups and F12 for boot menu. So now I have a, ooh, I have that upside down. <laughs> I have a DVD-RW, and on that DVD-RW I have written an ISO of Ultimate Boot CD. You can see there's uh, data being, data has been written to it. And we'll have a link to the ISO in the description, so we're going to put it in our drive. And we're going to go all the way down to CD-ROM. Yay! So then it loaded off the CD, and it loaded us into Ultimate Boot CD. So we're going to hit HDD, Diagnostics, we're going to go all the way down to MHDD32. And I guess the uh, standard boot options are going to be all right. So here it's going to give us a list of the drives that we have. So you can see I have two hard drives and a CD-ROM drive. And I want to scan the first one. And you can, so this, yes, this first one here, the ST3375, so on and so forth. So, and you can see the number in front of it is 6. So I'm going to enter, I'm going to put in 6, enter, and I'm going to go S-C-A-N to scan it. And then it's going to give us a bunch of different things, and it's going to say when to start. So we want to start at 0, and we want to end basically at the end of the drive, because we don't want to scan a section of it, we want to scan all of it. And we definitely want to turn re remapping on, so you hit enter, you scroll over, you, you scroll to it using your arrow keys and you hit remap, and everything else looks fine. And it's a little hard to see, but if I can bring it up closer and get it in focus, you hit F4 to basically do your selection. And you can see it starts mapping out your clusters. Now if you notice, it changes, there's different colors, and if you look to your little key over here, or you can even see there's green and other stuff, there's different speeds. Now the faster your speed, the better it is. And mostly, brand new hard drives, will everything will be under 3 milliseconds. If you have wear and tear, you'll start seeing 10 and 50. Now the real thing you start need to start being concerned about is when you start having things that are above 50 milliseconds. So if it's under 50 milliseconds or you have some form of a gray here, that's all right. That means your hard drive has been used but it, your data and everything is still good. It's still in really good condition and it's usable. When you start getting maybe into the green, that's eh, it's alright. I mean, if you have one or two green, that's still alright, it's still good, it's still usable. But when you hit um, into the orange, and I guess this is like a reddish pink, that's when you might want to start not hold valuable and important data on that in particular drive. And when you start getting UNC, which I forget what exactly it stands for, it's, I think it's like uncorrect, it's like uncorrectable cluster or something. Uh, which is basically, you have bad clusters on your drive, that's when you really don't want to start, store something important on it. So, I mean, for now my hard drive, you can tell it has some wear and tear, but... Mostly, it ha all the all of them are under 50 milliseconds, and I think there's two that is above 50 milliseconds, but still under 150 milliseconds. So for the most part, it's good, and you'll see 
it totals up the total number so you can let this sit and run it gives you the total in green where it's currently at and the time remaining I guess I, I, I don't know how a these are not super accurate but I guess it is something to go on and the average speed at what the disk is reading at and the actual speed at that current second that it's reading at so there you go that's how to check the health of your hard drive and by using ultimate boot cd bye